So I personally really love robots. I always have. I love them probably more than I love spiked lemonade. And I remember when I first got to MIT, like 12 or 13 years ago, I was so excited that I was going to get to see the cutting edge work being done at MIT in robotics, the robots that were about to take over the world and take everyone's jobs. What interests me about automated technologies is what happens when you put them together with people. But we also have an inherent tendency within ourselves to anthropomorphize, to project human-like traits, qualities, emotions, behaviors onto non-humans. And when Boston Dynamics put this video online in 2015, it went viral. It, it went incredibly viral um, because first roboticists saw it and they were like, oh, that's so cool, the robot didn't fall over. But then normal people started to see it and they had more negative emotions about what was happening in the video. There's a whole field of robotics called social robotics that tries to do this intentionally. So social robots intentionally mimic sounds and cues and movements and behaviors that people automatically, subconsciously associate with states of mind. The reason that I bought the Plio back in the day is because it's a super cool toy. It has all these motors and touch sensors and it has an infrared camera and it mimics lifelike behavior really well. It, it was, at the time, part of a already large and, and growing body of research in human-robot interaction showing that people respond to the cues that the lifelike machines give them, and we respond even if we know perfectly well that they're not real. There's a lot of cool stuff happening in that space, but also I think social robotics raises some ethical questions as well. Like chatbots can give people false or harmful information. Um, robots can tell people your secrets. There are a lot of nefarious ways that this technology can be used not in a user's own best interest, but in someone else's best interest. So if you do a Google image search for artificial intelligence, this is, I can't remember when I did this a few months ago, but it's, it's, it's always the same. It's always images of human brains and humanoid robots and, and humans because we are constantly subconsciously comparing artificial intelligence to human intelligence and robots to people. This is a narrative that we have heard for decades now. These headlines, no jobs, blame the robots. I don't think that's very accurate. I think that that headline should be no jobs, blame company decision making against the backdrop of unbridled corporate capitalism, globalization, and a political economy that treats workers like replaceable commodities. Like, that's a less pithy headline, but you know, maybe it gets at some, some other things that might be going on here. Because I do think as a society, we have a lot of choice here. We could be choosing to invest in technology that helps people do a better job rather than trying to automate people away. And I also think that effective technology integration or at least the ideal, the ideal future would be if we can truly internalize that the potential of these automated technologies is not to recreate, recreate something that we already have. The true potential of robotics and AI is for us to partner with these technologies and what we're trying to achieve. What we really need to do is understand that the robots don't determine the future. We determine the future.